Oh, hey, it's Wes. And today, I want to give some shout outs. I want to talk to you about my 10 favorite YouTube channels. You might not be able to guess a lot of the people in this list. So before we get started, I want you to comment down below who you think my top 10 or whatever, however many you can think of YouTube channels are, just based on what you know about me as a human being. Pause the video and then we'll get started. Number one, which is actually number 10, we're counting down, is Ryan George. He is my favorite comedian on YouTube. He is fantastic, he is hilarious, he seems like a pretty swell guy. I don't know him though, I don't know any of these people, so I can't actually directly vouch for them. <laughs> but he is the fellow that you might know from pitch meetings on Screen Rant, but he has his own channel where he does original comedy that is somewhat topical, sometimes, but also not pretentious. Not at all. If you don't know any of these people, there will be links for all of them down in the description below. Number nine, Julia Trotti, our first photography entrant. She seems like an incredibly down-to-earth person, seems very honest and kind, and seems like she would be just a joy to hang out with. Now, I say the word honest. That's not because I think that a lot of photography YouTubers are dishonest. I just mean that they are honest about their experiences and they are relaying those experiences to us. It's not about a script or accomplishing a goal, it's about expressing themselves. And I respect that a lot. Number eight, Wendover Productions. There are a lot of infographic channels on YouTube for educational purposes and this is my favorite. They have fantastic visual essays on a variety of topics, check them out. Number seven, moving on to another photographer, Irene Rudnick. Again, another person who seems fantastic. Her live photo shoots are wonderful. This is one of the reasons that I don't record photo shoots because number one, I'm afraid of seeming pretentious and overconfident. And number two, the actual fact is I am the total opposite of that. Even though I am capable of producing fantastic results, sometimes, I don't always believe in myself, I am generally incredibly goofy at photo shoots, and sometimes that doesn't come off well as from watching, but I'll get into that eventually. So Irene, she is a Canadian, which, you know, big bonus points there. And now we'll move on to number six, a little more photography. Sometimes, not as much lately, Steve Huff photo and hi-fi. Originally, I was a little scared when he did his pivot into also doing hi-fi, but honestly, the reason I like Steve Huff kind of makes his content agnostic to what it's about. What do I mean by that? Well, I like Steve Huff because he's an experiential guy. He talks about the character of products, and that's something that I do and that I find important, and that a lot of people tend to not do as much. For me, it's important for things to have character, to have life of their own, and to talk about that in an experiential and honest way, as I've mentioned before. And Steve Huff is really big on that. Sometimes too much, but when you're looking for that kind of fill, Steve Huff's your guy. Number five, moving away from photography, The Lockpicking Lawyer. Fantastic content, so concise, but also entertaining, but also informative, but also makes you want to hide in a bunker in your basement because you realize that security is entirely a facade created by modern society to make us feel better and safer. Number four, one that you probably wrote down in the comments, I'm finally getting there, Gerald Undone. Gerald doesn't need to tell me what he had for lunch to get to the point and tell me about the equipment he is reviewing. He is to the point, largely concise, largely rigorous, so I respect that and I watch his content. That one's kind of an obvious one. Number three, in similar vein, Camera Labs, Gordon, understood the assignment and he gets to the point and he gets the information that we want. He does it fast in a timely manner. He has predictable content. You know what you're gonna get when you click on a Gordon Lang video. My number two, and we're getting real close to the top here, is Doug DeMuro. Yes, I'm the kind of guy that when I see a Doug DeMuro video in my feed, I click it right away. Well, if you don't know who Doug DeMuro is yet, I would have to say he is probably the YouTuber's YouTuber. Let me explain. You can hear it coming out in the voices of a lot of YouTubers when they are talking about content that they have been watching Doug DeMuro from saying things like quirks and features and this is the 
ba 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 ba. These are trademark features of Doug DeMiro. He is charming and largely unpretentious, just kind of a goofy guy who gets into the nitty gritty and the stuff that is really interesting about cars and trucks. If you haven't checked him out, check him out down below. Very entertaining in kind of a low key way. And most of his videos, a lot of his videos are recorded just on an iPhone. No big deal. Moving right along, number one, drum roll please. Veronica decided to join me for number one. Todd is a guy who knows how to test things. More than any photography channel I have watched, Todd gets it done. But not photography at all. He tests tools and hardware and you name it. The thing about him is he knows how to come out with a test for anything, to create comparative analysis for all the things. He knows exactly how to create a test and a test bench scenario to level the playing field and get the information he needs. He is rigorous and concise, but you know what? He is my number one YouTube channel. So check him out down below. As you might be aware, there are a lot of YouTube channels out there, so I am going to move on to some honorable mentions. These are in no particular order because it's really hard to decide this. So here we go. DP Review TV, that's an easy one. Sarah Dietschy, iJustine, LTT, MKBHD, Matt Granger, Northrop Photography, DSLR Video Shooter. You might notice that there is a complete absence of video-centric content in there. I generally don't watch it, but I watch this guy. Jared Polin, Manny Ortiz, and of course, The Art of Photography. Just barely missing the uh, top 10 there probably on that one. So if you have any favorite YouTube channels down below, let me know. Maybe I missed one. Maybe I'm just entirely missing out. Let me know what your favorites are. Let me know what you think about my favorites. I mean, keep it nice in there. But until next time, let's go take some photos. Thank you.